Continuing our discussion on how to pay for college from the weeks before, today we want to share some information on different types of federal student loans, what the differences are so you can decide which will be best for you. The Federal Direct Student Loan Programs offers a few different loan types. A Stafford loan is a student loan that is eligible to students enrolled in accredited institutions for higher education. Stafford loans are available at both subsidized and unsubsidized loans. But what is the difference? Let's break it down for you. Subsidized. This is a need-based loan. The government will pay your interest while you are in school as long as you are enrolled at least part-time. The government will also pay the interest on this loan while you are in your grace period before repayment begins. This saves you a lot of money by not having interest add up while you are in school. Huge benefit. Unsubsidized. The loan is not based on income and not all students are eligible for the max loan amount. With this loan, you are responsible for paying all the interest that accrues while you are enrolled in school. The other type of loan is known as the Perkins loan. This is a subsidized low interest loan. Again, with this type of loan, government will pay the interest while you are in school. With this loan, the school is the lender. The loan is made with government funds and the school also contributes a share. You repay this loan to your school. The funds depend on the need of each student and depends on the amount of funds your college has to offer. It is important to know that not all schools participate in this federal program. Now you have some knowledge on different types of loans you may be offered, so you can make the best decision for yourself. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, sunshines. It's Thursday, May 10th, and it's an A-Day. It's also Caleb Minshaw and Emma Twight's birthdays. Happy birthday! Today, they can enjoy varsity golf at Arcadia and Ettrick. Or softball and baseball at home. Between AP testing, volunteering, and the Rotary Athletic Banquet, we've got enough to keep you busy for a while. Let's start with the testing. AP U.S. History students will be taking their national exam tomorrow beginning at 7.50. That's before advising. If you're an A-push test taker, you should report to the UW Extension Building basement to complete your test. Please bring number two pencils and a blue or black pen. After a long week of testing, you've got the ABC Fine Arts Night to look forward to next Tuesday. The art show and band and choir concerts are from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Save room for a bake sale and time to view all the art. It will be at the Middle School Commons and Lunda Theater. There's another year-end event coming up, the Rotary Athletic Banquet. It's in the High School Commons on Wednesday, May 16th at 6 p.m. Seniors that received a plaque will be receiving them. Captains, MVPs, and Most Improved Athletes will also be honored on this night. Please make every effort to attend. It means a lot to your coaches and the Rotary members that we have a great turnout. That's next Wednesday. If you'd like to put in some volunteering hours, Interfaith has a chance for you. Interfaith Volunteer Caregivers has opportunities for volunteers age 14 and older. Volunteers could help in the office, visit with their neighbors, volunteer at our new Time For You Respite Center, or deliver groceries. Call or email Interfaith at interfaith at jcivc.org or 715-284-7058. Be the change you wish to be in the world and help others in need. FFA, you've got some meetings. The FFA co-op test plot meeting is today during focus period in the Ag Room. They will be discussing this year's crop experiment. Go see what this group is about. And tomorrow is the FFA Awards Banquet. If you're in the group, please help set up for the banquet after school Friday if you can. That's tomorrow, after school. As always, if you need to replay the announcements, they're all available on our YouTube channel, BRFHS Student Media. Now, go get some work done. Privilege grades will be posted this weekend. Have a great Thursday. Bye. My name is Kiana Heller. I participate in barrel racing and rodeos and pole bending, and then I also participate in smaller shows, which is barrel racing, pole bending, and just other events that they choose. I've participated in Wazi Riders, which is just a local show, and then I've also competed in Little Bridges Rodeo, which is a bunch of rodeos around like Wisconsin. 
and I've also competed in WWHSA. I've been riding horses since I was little. My mom got me started basically as soon as I could walk and I started out on a little pony and then I just worked my way up and I've been riding ever since. Kiana's horses have had a series of unfortunate events. After two died and another was injured, Kiana almost gave up the love of the sport. With time, she overcame her setbacks with a bright outlook and hope for the future. And of course, that whole thing of not wanting to like search for another horse because all of these terrible things just keep happening and happening. And so that was another setback, heartbreak, another one of your best friends lost, I guess. So it was just a lot of bad things happening over and over again. So now I have a new horse after a long wait and a long season of not riding. So basically the story, I mean, this one is its a story of kind of it was a meant to be thing. So basically the horse I have now, her name is Twisted Sister. Long story short, we bought her. So now I'm just really excited to ride again. I've been riding every day. I'm trying to make up for last year. She'll be making up for last year as she and Twisted Sister work together during this rodeo season. 